Hi family and friends, welcome to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Benita. Today I will be doing a subtle cut crease glam for you. If you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Starting with skin prep, I have really dry skin so I am taking only mist with vitamin C to refresh my skin. Then I am taking Nivea Urban Skin Defense as my moisturizer to hydrate my skin. To keep my under eye smooth and hydrated, I am using only eye cream. Moving on to my rest of skin prep, I am using Farshali liquid glass. I oh, highly recommend guys all the product I am using here and have a look. This product makes your skin wet and juicy then only your foundation sits beautiful on the top. Then I'm pumping out my lips with lip balm. For my primer, I'm using Revlon Photo Ready and I'm applying only in a certain area to hide my pores. Finally, starting with the foundation, I'm taking Smashbox Studio Hydrating Foundation in a shade 2.18 and applying all over my face and neck with a damn beauty sponge. Take your time to blend your foundation all over your face and your neck as well. Then I'm taking Lagol Pro Concealer in a shade Creamy Beige. As this concealer works as a color character, as it has an orange tone, it helps to cancel out the darkness around my mouth and around my nose area. Moving on to my eyebrow, I'm taking Tarte Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. This eyebrow pencil have a tip like a pencil, which I feel easy to line my eyebrow. As I have a thin eyebrow, I am creating an illusion of thick eyebrow. For filling the gap, I like to use different eyebrow pencil which is waterproof and highly pigmented. This um, eyebrow pencil I think I bought it on eBay. It is so cheap and reasonable. I'll link the name in the description box below for you guys. Carrying on, I'm taking Maybelline concealer in a shade light to clean up my eyebrow base as well as top part of the eyebrow. Then blending concealer, this step will help eyebrow to give a very sharp and defined look. As you can see the difference the one with concealer and the one without. Now as I am preparing for the eyeshadow, I am using concealer as my base but you guys can use eye primer as well. To set my eyebrow hair, I am taking Maybelline Brow Drama in a shade brown. In order to get precise look, you just use the brush like you are combing a hair. You just need to follow your hair direction with the brush, simple as that. Alright now, to set my eye and eyelid, I am using Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in a shade Fair Light so that it won't crease and the eyeshadow goes smoothly. Now I am using sticky tape in outer corner as an extension of my lower lash line with the glitch palette taking raspberry color. 
as I have a small crease I'm applying a shadow above the crease so when I open my eyes eyeshadow is visible I am applying the color with the flat brush in a dabbing motion and going slowly inside the corner of eyelid to soften this up I am taking this orange shade and going to place right on the top of the shade that I have used on the crease then I'm going to blend these two colors using large blending brush. Keep in mind guys, you are blending this color towards upward. Now I'm taking Garnier Micellar Water to clean up the lid where I want to place the concealer. By taking Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in a shade light medium, I'm going to dip in some concealer and slowly touch and feel where my circuit is and start placing concealer making semicircle. For this step, I'm taking a very small and flat brush which helps to define the line. On top of the note, I'm using this Tarte Concealer because this has a very thick consistency which makes our crease more visible and more shaped. To set my concealer, I'm again taking Maybelline Loose Powder and dabbing slowly on top of the concealer. Next, I'm taking this matte teal color using medium sized blending brush and shading the color in a circular motion. I'm pushing the eyeshadow towards the center of the lid. I like to keep the color as intense as possible till I'm happy with the intensity. As it moves towards the center of the lid, I'm going to keep that edge pretty soft so that it will be easy to blend the next eyeshadow which is coming up next. Then with the flat brush, I'm using earlier raspberry color and use between the lid to melt this eyeshadow with the teal color and soften it out. Now with the another flat brush, I'm taking this beautiful metallic creamy shade and I'm going to use it on my lid. I'm going to take all the way up to my crease and joining with the raspberry shade. To highlight my brow bones, I'm taking this creamy shade and placing under my eyebrow in order to give a defined look overall. Then I'm taking this Maybelline eye pencil to prepare for the eyeliner. Now I'm going to use Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Eyeliner. I'm going to pull out a small wing just close to this sticky tape and line my top lash line. As the eye work is done, I'm removing the sticky tape and then I'm using Tarte Concealer to highlight my nose area as well as under the eye to hide the dark circle around the corner of my nose following on the chin. Then with the beauty sponge, I'm blending them out evenly. I am also topping up concealer with the flat brush to reach out corner of the eye. Then to set my concealer I am taking it Bye Bye Pores Loose Translucent Powder. This is such a beautiful powder which not only helps to seal your concealer, it also helps to minimize your pores as well. So I am applying this translucent powder all over the place where I have placed the concealer. As I have a really dry skin, I don't like to bake my under eye. I'm just removing all the powder just in like 5-10 seconds and dusting them off. To balance everything out in the lower lash line, I'm going to first take the same raspberry color and then with the orange color and following with the teal color and then uh, using a flappy brush, I'm just buffing them out.
by taking this flat kabuki brush i'm going to bronze my face by taking huda beauty contour in a shade fair and i'm placing it uh, in a dabbing motion and taking all through to my temples and slowly blending them out um, I'm going to take this uh, contour to my jawline as well as you guys see I don't have really sharp jawline and for the nose contour I'm using wider flat brush and creating a line starting under my eyebrow I'm pulling down to my nose point and blending with my finger Carrying on my favorite step of makeup is applying a blush which is Nova in a shade Rose. So if you want to highlight your blush you can apply the powder like this to give a sharp contour look and bluffing them out with this smooth brush. Before I use falsies, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a coat of mascara. The one I'm using here is Bad Girl Bang from Benefit. In order to separate this sticky lash from its mascara, I'm using this lash brush to comb my lash hair. For lashes, I'm using Glow Lashes in a Glamorous. In order to attach this, I'm using Geo Quick Set Glue. And to highlight, I'll be using Benefield Highlighter in a cookie shade. And this highlighter has a really fine shimmer which gives you a very royal glow. And this is absolutely fantastic. Have a look the glow. <laughs> Okay, for the lips, I'm taking a Kat Von T Lolita 2. This is such a beautiful shade. As I don't have a matching lip liner, I'm just placing this um, straight away in my lips. Finally, I'm using NYX setting spray to set my makeup. This setting spray gives you a very glowy, dewy finish. So I got my hair done, I got my earring on and here is the final look. Let me know guys your thoughts in the comment section below. See you next time. Love you all.